Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the Accounts Receivable Management Template. We'll start by hiding the top menu bar to have more space. Perfect. First, let's go into the registration page. It allows you to enter a list of customers as well as a list of different payment methods. Let's add a new client we'll call Jenny Smith. Let's now move on to the Accounts Receivable tab. This is the main data input section, where we enter all clients' invoices and their details. Let's scroll down and add a new one together. We'll enter an invoice number, a date, an invoice description, and select our newly created customer, Jenny Smith. We'll enter a due date, let's say 1st of Feb 2021. A payment method. A total invoiced. We'll leave the receipt date and receipt amount blanks as the invoice hasn't been paid yet. All the following fields are automatically inputted and will be left as is. Let's go back to the top of the report and hit the Update Report button. Awesome! We're now ready to look at the dashboards. First, the Dashboard and Report landing page. There are eight metrics that can be filtered by month, quarter and year. move on to the first submenu, the Indicator History section. It shows main metrics for a specific year and by month. Let's select 2020. We can first see the total sales per month, the number of invoices sent, the average receivable days, the number of invoices received late, the percent of invoices received late, and the accumulated receivable. Moving on, the turnover age section. It shows the percentage of invoices based on the time it took to be paid from the date they were sent. For example, 81% of invoices were paid within 30 days of reception by the client. Let's go to the summary by supplier. This is a report summarizing the total number of invoices, total sales, amount, etc. Next, the invoice list. It shows a detailed invoice report that can be filtered by invoices status, open, overdue, paid, etc. Finally, the last submenu is the overdue invoices. It is a report that shows only outstanding invoices. The last section of this template is the Kanban board. It is broken down into two sections. Let's look into the board first. It displays invoices by status. Open, next to due date, due date today, overdue, and paid. You can choose to filter by a specific period, specific year, quarter, or month. Let's go to the overdue invoices board. 
these are only overdue invoices grouped by number of days outstanding. Under 30 days, under 60 days, under 90 days, and over 90 days. Similarly to the previous Kanban board, you can filter by year, quarter, or month. And that's it! You know everything you need to know about our Accounts Receivable Management Template, and you're ready to start using it now. Enjoy!